What's up guys, Meg here from AVO. Um, thanks so much for watching our YouTube videos. Welcome back to Expo East. Um, we're so excited to be here. I'm gonna walk around and um, show you guys around and uh, we're gonna talk to some different customers and people here at the event. Hey guys, you guys having fun camping this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? So why do you like your Alu cabin? I like it because we like sleep on the bottom and my, my mom sleeps, my mom and dad sleep on the top bunk and my brother doesn't kick me a lot because we're spaced out. Nice. How about you? Um, because um, I like sleeping with my sister on the bottom bunk. Cool. All right, well, you guys have fun this weekend, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, bud, so are you having fun camping this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Um, so what's your favorite thing about camping in your Alu cabin? It's big. It's big? You got a lot of space in there? Yeah? That's awesome. Have you been camping with friends and stuff this weekend? Nice. Hey, guys, so I'm here in the Fort Will Campers booth. I'm going to walk around and show you the different campers that they have on display here. All right, guys, check this one out. This one is a hawk. And it has yeah. the roller and this is actually in the guidebook too. <laughs> yeah. You have lots of space to put your own fridge in here. The rollover sofa turns into a little bed. Check out this Project M on this one. This is. We got the deck door system and the slide. That's right there that gets me. So just watch out. Yeah. We've been, uh, we have a workshop tent. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. Keep saying, yeah, exactly. I was on the verge of doing the things like rack. I'm here with some of the owners of um, the Four Wheel Campers, and they're just going to talk about uh, what their favorite thing is about their camper and why they chose to purchase a Four Wheel Camper. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Jameson Redding. I host a television show called The Road Trip Angler, and this is my rig right here. So I wanted to get into the four-wheel camper, specifically the Project M, because of what I do for a living. I'm on the road all the time, uh, and we're traveling different places, we're moving quick, and we have a lot of fishing equipment and a lot of gear, but I also wanted to be able to camp with my family when I wasn't on the road. Uh, so this just gave me that versatility to be able to keep my deck system in with all my gear in it, load and unload stuff quickly, but still have a place to sleep when I'm moving from spot to spot. So it really just fell right into that um, perfect spot of having a camper but also still having a truck uh, be used as a truck. Yeah. Okay. 
So where's your favorite place um, to go camping or your favorite place that you've gone? It's it's super hard to narrow down like my favorite, right? Because yeah. they're, they're all so unique and different. But I'll say so far with the rig, uh, my family and I went out to four-wheel campers to pick it up in California. And so on the way back, we camped in uh, the Tahoe National Forest. And we just found like a couple of cool spots, but one of them had this beautiful lake. We were able to camp right on the lake. Uh, it was a little bit of off-roading to get there, so we were a little more secluded, and the kids just loved it and had a blast. So that's my favorite like trip in the camper so far. Cool. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. It. This one is a Granby, and it has the OEV tray, which we actually did at AVO. And uh, it just gives you so much storage around your camper. Inside yeah, I put the trash one. out because uh, Kathy recommended um, people would have a place to throw some. Alright guys, so I'm here with um, another set of four-wheel camper owners. Um, guys, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Cliff Vaughn and this is my wife Lori Vaughn. We're from Leesville, South Carolina. Okay, and what type of uh, four-wheel camper do you guys have? We have a 2020 uh, four-wheel Grand B slide-in and we have that on a flatbed with extra um, containers, extra boxes on the side. So what was your big deciding factor when you um, purchased this camper? We purchased the camper right at the start of COVID and it was part of the uh, equation for safe camping and we did not want something big. We wanted something with more agility to get into smaller spaces. So we essentially can camp anywhere, even tent spots. What's your favorite place that you've um, taken your camper? My favorite spot was um, on Muley Point in Utah. We were on a ridge and we were looking at Monument Valley. We saw the sunset and the full moon come up and it was it was just beautiful. That was probably one of my most spectacular places. But you had a different one, yeah. Um. Yeah. It was it um, the Canyon, of, Canyon the of the Ancients outside of Cortez, Colorado. Mm -hmm. We were camped on the edge of a, uh, about a 500 foot cliff looking over a canyon that emptied into Utah and New Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's when we saw the Milky spot. Way. Yeah, too. we could wow. see the Milky Way. Yeah. And at first we thought, is that smoke? But <laughs> it was the Milky Way. <laughs> yeah. And you just don't see that in this part of the country. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Okay. Thank you. booth actually um, with one of our Canopy Camper customers. You want to introduce yourself? Josh Carter with uh, Gobi Recon Overlanding on Instagram. All right Josh, do you want to tell us um, why did you get a Canopy Camper? Four seasons camping mainly. Being able to camp um, in comfort in the winter and then being able to stay on extended trips um, without having to go into town resupply or go into like different parks and stuff like that and get water or empty trash out or anything. Cool. All right, Josh, so can you tell me where's the, your favorite place that you've taken this camping? Our favorite place that we frequent the most is Cape Lookout National Seashore, where we can drive out on the beach, set up to camp for four or five days, have half a mile of beach to ourselves, have the canopy camper, you know, in the sun, we got 13 gallons of water for taking fresh showers, cleaning up at night, um, being able to cook off the back, have the Red Vision system monitoring power, so we're making sure like recharging devices, having the fans run at night, stay cool. cool. Um, it performs really well on the beach. Awesome, cool. Well, thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Yep.
All right, hey guys, so I'm here with a Power Break customer. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Jason from Mountain State Overland. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, so Jason, why did you um, upgrade to Power Brakes? Um, in total transparency, um, I upgraded to Power Brakes late in the game because I didn't think that I needed to, right? And uh, I heard a lot of really good things about the Power Brake product. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try, right? So we installed these at home by ourselves, following cool. the instructions. It yeah. was pretty straightforward. Um, I think anybody that has some basic mechanical skills can knock it out with some tin snips. Um, the fun thing that we did with the power brake was we did a brake stop test before we put the brakes on. Okay. So um, fully loaded Tacoma with a canopy camper on the back, um, water, goose gear, everything, uh, oversized tires, you know, everything. There's a lot of weight on this truck, right? Yeah. So I was kind of looking forward to the performance. And then um, when I did the brake stop test, it scared me a little bit because I had been driving this truck for two years. Yeah. And it took me 150 feet to brake after 60 miles an hour. <laughs> um, so we haven't done the after performance test yet because we went, th we went through um, the initial break-in period and then we drove out to Colorado. Cool. Um, so I've been on these brakes now for almost 5,000 miles and I haven't done the brake stop test yet. So when we do the final piece to see how these things are going to stop, I think we're going to be really happy, right? Because yeah. I mean, driving this vehicle in emergency situations and having to slam on the brakes and it yeah. comes up, you know, to the stop on a dime, um, makes me feel bad that I've been driving my family around for all of these, all of these years, I guess, without power with a, brakes, without yeah. power brakes and, yeah. and not being able to stop the vehicle on time or as quick, you know, we've yeah. just been very fortunate, but now I feel really confident. It's, it's not something that you would, um, that feels abnormal yeah. when you put them on there it just feels very confident right yeah. you're not going to touch the brakes and all of a sudden your car is going to come to a screeching stop unless you slam on them yeah so it feels very natural it feels like a stock vehicle off the lot and um they're great you know i mean we used them in colorado coming down some big alpine passes and uh super happy with them so we'll see how far it stops but i'm, I'm guessing somewhere maybe in the 75 to 100 feet range so yeah. cool. um yeah, they're a fantastic product. Awesome. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, guys. I'm here with another one of our Alucab customers. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Nick Scabaris. I'm from Michigan. Um, what did you get from us? Well, I uh, got the Contour Canopy uh, from Alucab and the uh, rooftop tent, the 3.2, and a uh, awning, shadow awning 270. Cool. So, um, so what made you decide to get this set up? Well, um, we wanted to be able to... Uh, travel out west and uh, just pack everything we needed in here we got a little camper but like we, we didn't want to be able to have to pull it anywhere so this will get us to wherever we want to go and uh, you were telling me that this is your first time camping in this yeah area, right? so you guys have been awesome I actually came to Overland Expo East and you installed it right here at the show pretty quick and uh, very happy slept in it for the first time last night and super comfortable easy to put up easy to put down and I uh, look forward to taking it on the road tomorrow and um, seeing how it tows. And uh, look forward to many, many trips in it. And hopefully I'll come back to you guys and get a lot more accessories for it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for talking. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I'm here with a couple of our IU Cabin customers. Um, guys, do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Matt Francis. Um, I bought the camper from y'all, was it like four months ago? Yeah, four months ago now. Love it. Awesome. So, um, Duncan Black uh, got the cabin about the same time Matt did, maybe a week after. Cool. Um, so, guys, why did you want to buy a, a canopy camper, like Alley Cabin? Um, I think what led us to making the decision was we've been through so many renditions of the truck. You know, we started out with basic ground tent. Um, We've got two kids and it was great when they were younger. Yeah. Um, then we did like a bigger rooftop tent and it was just, it was great, it worked, but it was cumbersome. It was, took a while to take down and put up and stuff. Um, and then we started researching it and it led us to this because now our whole family fits in it comfortably. It's more secure, it's easier, everything's set in, forget it and get you on the road faster. Cool. How about you? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, it's real rugged, robust, robust, and like I said, it's really nice camper. Awesome. Yep.
Cool. So, so guys, looking back to all the different places that you've been camping or maybe somewhere that you want to go in the future, what would you say is your, your favorite, you know, one that you either want to go to or a place that you've gone? Place that I've been that was the best for me was Colorado, hands down. Um, running all the loops out there, trails, uh, passes and everything was just crazy. Um, and our bucket list, and I've been talking about it for like two years now, is to ship the truck over to Australia and go to like Fraser Island and stuff like that, you know. Cool. Yeah, that sounds go awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Idaho. Idaho is like a hidden treasure. You like potatoes? Yeah, yeah like right. potatoes. <laughs> All right. Nice. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're here in the Olin's booth, and we've had the Avio Gladiator here um, set up here at Overland Expo East. Um, and I just wanted to um, have Eric kind of tell us, we've wheeled this without Olin's suspension, and then we've also wheeled this with Olin's. And so I wanted Eric to kind of tell you guys um, the differences that we felt. Yeah, guys. So when you're building up a truck like this, especially what we do for most of our customers, you know, you got to consider, hey, you know, that I'm adding or you're adding a ton of weight to these vehicles, you know, that more than than the engineers who designed the cars had ever, you know, really designed that suspension to handle that comes from the factory. And so we know at AVO that we have to um, make sure that the, cu that the cars, when they leave our offices, uh, that they drive better uh, than they did when they got there. And we know if they're, if they're not going to drive great or if they're going to have an issue with ride quality, that our customers aren't going to enjoy the accessories that we added on the vehicle. And so adding suspensions and stuff like that to these trucks and big brakes and, and you know, uh, some of those other performance and um, drivability upgrades, are, we know that they're su super important to us and to our customers and to the enjoyment, that experience and stuff uh, once they roll out of AVO. Um, in our case, we're fortunate enough to have partnered with uh, the Owens team here that's not far from our office in Mills River, which is which is an awesome, awesome deal. Um, they developed a really awesome suspension system uh, or shocks and stuff for the Gladiators and Wranglers. In our case, for the Gladiator, we're able to put their you know all new dampers on all four corners and combine that with our eight with an AEV suspension system. In this case, with high capacity coils. We ran a regular AV system. We we're very happy with it. We swapped on Olin's um, shocks, and it was it was a huge upgrade over you know like a standard shock you find in some of these kits. Of course, we were able to with the added technology you get an Olin shock. Um, like it, for example, they have uh, the shock basically has a built-in bump stop system that increases a massive amount of compression in the end zone of the shock as you compress it, um, which would be like almost bottoming bottoming it out hard on trails or coming off ledges or if you were if you were you know flying down a trail and didn't see a whoop or something like that and compress the shock it protects against that and then the jolt that you'd feel through the vehicle but also the compression and rebound adjustments is a huge deal on these shocks you know so i can firm up the suspension or soften it in our case i think the best part of the shocks is the rebound control because with the weight in the back of the vehicle i can keep the vehicle from wanting to do all this and 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 move back and forth so much and slow that down so that it comes back to right height a lot more quickly and stays there um, so we're really happy with these kids the quality is hands down probably the best we've seen uh, they look great. These these shocks have been on there for you know over a year now, a year and a half, something like that. Uh, this is a road warrior and wheels a lot. And the shocks, when we wipe them down, look like the day we put them on there. And the support and service that we get from Olin's is amazing. We have them on our bikes. Um, we have them on the cars. I mean, it's it's uh, and we use them at the highest level. Uh, doing those things, whether it's mountain built, mountain bike, you know, downhill riding, or you know, on track with the cars, or in this case, on tough trails on the highway, loaded with lots of gear, and um, and you know, really excited to see that kind of performance we can get out of these out of these uh, out of these shock absorbers. So, just a great company to work with, great group of people, and a lot more cool stuff from these guys on the way for other platforms like Tacoma and other newer platforms coming out soon. Cool. So. Eric, um, what do you think is your favorite trail that you wheels the Gladiator on? Yes, probably Steel Bender at night with oh, Bobby. Yeah. Um, it, at Easter Jeep Safari, um, our second to last night, I think it was there. And it was just awesome because it's a tough trail. And of course, we're not just in like a Wrangler, you know, on 37s or something like that, or just even a regular Gladiator. Um, you know, we've got our camper on the back and stuff like that. So people looked at us just crazy. Like we were crazy to take this Jeep the way it is, like up on steel bend and stuff. And it just did awesome. 
you know, we've got it all on video. I think we've got a YouTube yeah. video of that stuff on there. And it was just so cool to see how capable this is, how good it rides, how well it performs. Do a trail like that with like our little home on the back of it essentially, and then still drive it all the way back to Asheville at the end of that week. We drove it there and drove it back. Cool. And that's what we do with this truck is, you know, it really gets driven really everywhere it gets, wherever it goes. And so, yeah, really pumped. And of course it handles all the slow speed stuff really, really well too. So all the rock crawling and controlling all that, you know, all that weight. So basically you've got a big rooftop tent on this, of course, with the canopy, it's all one piece. Um, but you know, the suspension's able, even with the factory sway bars in the rear, to really limit all that movement and stuff, even, you know, when it's huge ledges and stuff like that. Cool. Well, thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Yeah, no Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. And we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.